The status of the move is we have our occupancy uh, permit, so we're ready to go. We, we the Guam Attorney General's office is moving out of Pedro's Plaza. Planning for the move has been in the works for nearly a year after the structural integrity of the building was called into question by those who worked there. In July of last year, employees inside the building complained of hearing an increasing number of pops and odd vibrations on the floor. Some feared for their safety. The Department of Public Works eventually recommended that they move out. Space in the ITC building was found and the move begins Saturday. This weekend, uh, I believe administration will be starting and then the various different uh, divisions will, will take a couple days at a time. We don't expect to take too long to actually physically move. A week or two? Uh, more like two, more two like weeks. two weeks. Attorney General Lenny Rapanis acknowledged there may be some disruptions in service, but every effort is being made to keep that to a minimum. There will be disruptions in service in most all divisions, but we are working and we are planning, making uh, plans so that the disruption is as minimal as possible. Once the move is complete, the Attorney General's division will occupy about three floors inside the ITC building, and the environment, says Rapatis, will be safer and less expensive. It is a, we think, a much more safer and more conducive uh, area for working. Um, it is also uh, uh, cheaper in the long run. We've, we've um, done some of the math and we're actually paying less. And again, we hope to have uh, our communications continuous, continuous uh, so, that, uh, so that people can be contacting our office about status of cases or, or whatever uh, consumer needs that are out there. So we will um, we'll try to minimize as much. So I'm, I'm asking the public to be, to be patient during this time.